So guys, our today's topic is about acne vulgaris. Uh, there are mainly two types of acne, acne vulgaris and acne rosacea. So in today's session, we are going to learn what is acne vulgaris. Now the definition. Uh, acne is the most common condition which is uh, we face in our clinic. Or uh, it is actually the, uh, why the acne is appear. So it is due to the hair follicle which are clogged. Clogged by what? The clogged by uh, keratinous substance. So the acne eruptions appear. Now, before going to our topic, before that, we learn sebaceous gland, anatomy of sebaceous gland and their component. See, for acne, from my side, the main culprit thing is sebaceous gland. The main culprit, we, we, we are going to see it, how it works and how it is the culprit behind the all such things. So now let's understand anatomy of sebaceous gland. So sebaceous glands are mostly associated with hair follicles. Means wherever the hair follicles present, the uh, uh, sebaceous gland are also there. So uh, with hair follicles, they are present at certain angle. Mm -hmm. Sebaceous glands are always present associated with the hair follicle. Means wherever the hair follicle are present, their uh, sebaceous gland are also present. So with the hair follicle, they present at the certain angle. Means more than 90 obtuse angle, at the obtuse angle, the sebaceous gland are present. Means more than 90 and less than 180 degree. Now let's understand the component of sebaceous gland. There are mainly two components. First is the multilobe sebaceous gland. And second is the duct. This is the main sebaceous gland. And this cells of uh, sebaceous gland releases the sebum. And the sebum is transmitted into the duct. And later on, they transmit into the pillory canal. And after that, they open into the pilosebaceous pore. Yes. So, so sebaceous glands is ar ar arise or it is present at the side of the root of the hair. It opens up with the hair follicle. For hair follicle, shaft simultaneously sebaceous gland open. Now the duct is open into the pillory canal. So what is pillory canal? The pillory canal is a part or a part which is detached from the uh, hair, hair shaft. And that help to hold the hair and allows the passage for the sebum. And from pillory canal, the sebum is transmitted or the transfer to the skin by the pilosebaceous pore. So what is pilosebaceous complex? First, we understand the hair follicle, shaft of the hair and sebaceous gland. These all three are combined and collectively known as the pilosebaceous complex. And when it, uh, wherever it open, that opening is termed as pilosebaceous opening or the pilosebaceous orifice. Next. Yes. Now the acne vulgaris. Acne vulgaris is a disorder of pilosebaceous complex as we learn what is pilosebaceous complex. There are two types of acne. Mainly we have divided into two parts. That is acne vulgaris and that is acne rosacea. Now we are going to discuss about acne vulgaris. Yes. So any disturbances occur in hair follicle, hair shaft or sebaceous gland that produce or they lead to the production of acne. So generally it happens in the uh, peripubertal uh, age or uh, in the age of adolescence. And the uh, manifestation of acne vulgaris is, is uh, comedones, papules, nodules, pustules, cyst. And when it uh, goes away or when it heals, <clears throat> it leaves a scar. Yes. That is also called as a uh, adult or that is also called as hormonal acne. 
or we can say it that is also adult acne. और उसमें कॉमेडोज भी होते हैं पेप्यूल्स भी होते हैं नोड्यूल्स भी होता है पस्यूल्स आर आल्सो देयर एंड सिस्ट कैन बी देयर एंड व्हेन दैट हील्स दैट क्रिएट्स स्कार दैट इज द होल प्रोसेस ऑफ एक्ने नाउ द टर्मिनोलॉजी वल्गारिस इन मेनी डिसीज वी 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 गो थ्रू दैट वल्गारिस इज यूज्ड एज अ सफिक्स लाइक इन अ प्रीवियस सेशन we learn the veruca vulgaris in this session we learn the acne vulgaris and others are pamphigus vulgaris or uh, lupus vulgaris the vulgaris means the common means those diseases which are commonly seen that type considered as a uh, used suffix is used as vulgaris like acne vulgaris are seen commonly in the population that's why it's used acne vulgaris common that is vulgaris it may be this is how you can differentiate clinically आपके क्लिनिक पे बहुत सारे पेशेंट आएंगे तो आपको लग रहा है कि दैट इज पेम्फिगस लेकिन यू आर नॉट एबल टू डिफ्रेंशिएट फ्रॉम अदर टाइप ऑफ पेम्फिगस यू कैन टर्म इट एज अ पेम्फिगस वर्ल्ड गाइस आपके पास एक्ने का पेशेंट आया है इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू डिफ्रेंशिएट विद अदर कंडीशन यू कैन टर्म इट एज अ एक्ने वर्ल्ड गाइस दैट इज ओके नाउ इटियोलॉजी uh the pilocybaceous uh, occlusion of the pilocybaceous uh, uh, orifice by that the acne may lead to the acne the second is the colonization of uh, microorganism in the duct of sebaceous gland they lead to uh, that may lead to the acne or the excessive secretion of sebum they may lead to the acne or the rupture of the rupture or the damage of the uh, sebaceous gland they lead to the inflammation and inflammatory markers like cytokines uh, uh, and other inflammatory mediator that causes the acne ek to uh, excessive secretion hota hai sebaceous gland mein se that will be the cause yeah. uh, dusre kaun se kaun occlusion agar pore uh, pore clog ho gaya hai keratin se block ho gaya hai keratin wahan pe attach ho gaya hai that might be the cause or the microorganism that grows in the duct that, that is bacterial cause bacteria so microorganism that is called as p acne right? so these are the main triggering factor uh, over production of sebaceous gland that might be the cause uh, follicular hyperkeratinization that is one of the thing and three thing is acne causing bacteria matlab that is p acne three are the main triggering factor ki jiski wajah se acne are occurring from this etiology i would like to share one thing one is over secretion of sebum gland sebum ka secretion excessive hota hai to kaun si kaun si medicine we have for such condition anyone knows which medicine is working on sebaceous gland sebaceous gland natremur telesia okay is it is it mentioned anywhere Sorry. this medicine is working on sebaceous gland anyone knows can you find it anywhere what is, what is the role of sebum on skin anyone to make the skin moist yes. uh, prevent from dryness it retains hydration retains hydration of the skin yes texture of hair or if it is increasing excessively if it is secreting excessively what is happening clogging of the pore skin becomes oily Yes, skin become oily, right? So we can consider the rubric oily face or oily greasy face. Jitni bhi medicine mein aate hai, this all medicine we can consider those are working on sebaceous gland or those are creating excessive secretion of sebum. Are you with me? Yes. Yes. Ha. To kaun se kaun se medicine? ट See, I'm going to share uh, screen. 
see see uh, the rubric face greasy face the leading remedies we have three mark leading remedy one is natromule and one is rustox so guys whenever you get such thing oily skin and sebum gas secretion is excessive in those cases you can think a first remedy in your mind that is natromure and rustox we have sorinum sorinum have a greasy oily face you all know so we can think of sorinum in it where there is excessive secretion of uh, sebum guys this is how we can correlate pathophysiology with our medication there is no uh, uh, no book is available in the market which indicates there is mentioned in book that this medicine is working on sebaceous gland we can find out like this if patient having acne on forehead and if the forehead is shiny that means excessive secretion of sebum on forehead so we have remedy see forehead face forehead greasy so remedy is sorinum natrum salicylicum and one is this hydrastis right even symphytum is there so this is how we can differentiate plumbum metallicum i have not used since many years but before 6 month i got a excellent result with plumbum met when i search such thing i have never used plumbum met for acne before but when one patient told me i have greasy face i use natromure i use sorinum which was not responding to any medication i even prescribe moxol moxol is excessive perspiration not i can say that is not a shiny face but excessive perspiration so i even use this remedy but believe me no, no, no medicine help me a lot but after going through this uh, rubric i prescribe plumbum mat and that plumbum mat gives excellent relief patient ne 15 din ke baad patient samne se bol raha hai ki sir aapne jo last time dawai di thi uske pehle jitni dawai di thi usse koi change nahi aaya tha lekin last time aapne jo dawai di thi usse 70% jo meri oily dress thi that relief so greasy oily face जितनी भी मेडिसिन में आ रहा है वी हैव 48 मेडिसिन इन रूबिक इट इज ऑल मेडिसिन वी कैन थिंक फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर कंडीशन एक्सेसिव सिक्रीशन ऑफ सीबम और कौन सी कौन सी कंडीशन में एक्सेसिव सिक्रीशन ऑफ सीबम रहता है एनीवन हाइपर थायराइडिज्म ओके देन हाइपोमेटाइटिस 